Dante to go from the defense today? Um, I, I thought we came out. And first two plays we played good, and the third play we played good, except we lined up off sides and we just kind of played a little inconsistent from there. And uh, then the second group came out, went three and out. And uh, so they came back and played well, and we come back and same thing, get the third down, had a PI, uh, jumped off sides, uh, or lined off sides another time, uh, had face mask, uh, three deep coverage, let somebody run by us, the next couple drives, and just very inconsistent. Um, and then uh, came back and, and played a lot better in the, in the back half, short yardage, goal line. And, uh, but just from what I saw our first eight days, uh, not, it, was, it hasn't been back and forth. Our guys have really played well the first eight days, and today, just uh, just inconsistent. You know, just doing just discipline. So, got a lot of work to do. And uh, Dallas said that Trayvon Mullen wasn't here, so we're not talking uh, about Trayvon and uh, Mario were out. So a little thin, thin back there, but uh, yeah, he'll be back. So a few. Mario injured or? Uh, he's got a groin. I know you guys kind of go back and forth, offense, defense. Not a whole lot so level. far through camp. Today <laughs> today was, though. Yeah. Is that abnormal for, for camp? Or, like, how does this team, how are they doing in meeting your expectations? Um, for they again, be right uh, for the first eight days until today, I thought we've, we've performed very well in all good on good situations. Very, very good. And uh, so, just again, disappointing. We didn't have the. Yeah. Kind of intensity or passion. Or again, just the, the focus on the details. Again, you go first down, second down, and you get to third down, and you defend it well, and, and somebody's offside. So uh, you can't do the little, those little things. But uh, those are some things that we've done that in practice. So you gotta, you know, that's got to be a you know decision. Guys got to decide to go be disciplined or not. But going back to the cornerbacks, the guys you do have, there were still a couple of new guys. Kyler is here, uh, Lee Anthony as well. Uh, how did they perform as far as what your expectations are for them? Uh, some good. You know, they're, they're working. They've been getting better. They've been working. They've been getting better. They're not ready uh, to play every down yet, but uh, they're working hard. Any guys you were particularly pleased with? Judah Davis, I mean, he was physical. He was flying all over, making good plays. But, uh, 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 Trey Lamar, Kendall, JD um, were uh, really good today. It's hard to tell with those guys up front, you know, but uh, not nearly good enough. With, with the linebackers, it's still kind of just a day by day thing to see. As far as who's going to start and how that's all going to shake up? Right now, if we started today, the starters would be 11, 34, 57, with co starters with 33. And uh, uh, 43 is on the right to be right there. James Gauss is still not practiced. And uh, Shaq Smith is on the come up. He's had a really good camp uh, so far. Uh, JD's had a really good camp so far. Uh, Jalen was good until today. He's been really good. What's the big difference with Shaq between? Uh, just confident, assuredness, body position, phys physicality, playing fast, play diagnosis. He's a guy you feel like is ready to help you guys this year? Yeah. Did you see out the freshman cornerback today, Alex Schmeichel? Goodrich didn't play. Uh, he had a groin, and Kyler did some good stuff. Uh, he's got a lot to learn, but did some really good stuff. Physically, is Kyler McMichael about what you would expect him coming in, saying that uh, he wasn't a mid-year in really? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's in great shape. He's been a workout warrior for a long time, so. He's not frail, he's not timid. Uh, he's been comes from a very good program. He's a tough kid, very competitive, guy's never left the field in high school. Uh, if he lined up, and I bet you he could break into that two deep and in a good tailback situation. He'd be a two deep guy. I heard he's got 4-2 speed. Uh, yeah, he can, yeah, he can run. Yeah, he can run.
And I know a, a lot was said uh, during the spring that you guys were looking forward to uh, Kyler and Mario coming in to add depth. So far in that first week, uh, are you feeling more comfortable about the team's depth at corner? Well, I mean, Mario's been hurt. I mean, Trayvon wasn't here today, so not so good today. Here I am today, so I'm telling you, I mean, I don't feel great. Just like I said, the guy, one guy had a funeral, one guy stubs a toe, and, and there you are. You got, you got issues. So. Defensive end, you've got a lot of options there behind mm-hmm. Austin and, and yep. Cleveland. How are those, how's that kind of shaking out right now? Um, good. Um, again, as I said the day before yesterday, uh, KJ and Xavier came back and they were noticeably better than what they were in the spring. Uh, uh, we had, took a swipe at somebody uh, today, 54 did, but uh, he's been really playing well. And uh, we, we kicked him out today. And, but he's had a really good camp. Justin Foster's had a very good camp. And uh, Richard yergen has been banged up, so he was out today. And uh, Xavier. So, yeah, but Xavier's had a good camp. Uh, we're moving him all over. So he's done, he's done well. What, uh, did you say Mario's dealing with? Him? Growing, growing, yep. Now I also miss which Xavier are we talking about, Thomas or Kelly? Uh, no, Xavier Thomas has been doing really good, and Xavier Kelly has been doing really good. So both Xavier's been doing.